Is the United States going to be able to work together with like-minded countries in Europe and elsewhere more in order to create a kind of the institutional structures that will, would actually ultimately facilitate greater cooperation with China, as opposed to a situation where China can simply divide and conquer and, and prevent Western countries from, from working together to pursue this kind of partnership strategy? Yeah, that's that's a great question, Peter. If I had a shrug emoji, I, I would I would use it right now. Um, it, you know, and and I do actually say in talking about that approach, uh, it's much easier said than done. Um, and there's kind of an inherent contradiction, uh, I think, to you know those that kind of approach the the alliance or sort of partnership led strategy is most effective when it's a very broad uh, uh, coalition. But the difficulty of keeping that coalition together uh, increases with the number of actors uh, involved and the number of parties involved. Um, and yet, I think particularly in the kind of issues that I'm concerned with, you know, climate change or uh, norms and standards around development of artificial intelligence, you know, it really does have to be a, a broad coalition that includes not just, um, you know, NATO, uh, Japan, but, but, you know, the Indias uh, of the world as well. Uh, uh, so it has to be a fairly large coalition to be um, effective, uh, and it's certainly not going to be effective in all cases. Um, that being said, I think there is kind of an underlying trend that you alluded to, which is a worsening of relations between China uh, and most other major powers around the world. And I think um, there are certainly, you know, kind of ebbs and flows. Uh, in that, but I think it's a discernible trend uh, over the last uh, five to seven years, and one that I do expect uh, to continue. And this is perhaps something we can uh, come back to. But you know, looking at the vision that uh, Xi Jinping presented uh, at the 20th Party Congress, you know, this is fundamentally uh, a more autarkic, uh, self-reliant, less uh, globally uh, kind of integrated and open China. Uh, that at least if, uh, you know, if, if C is to be believed, and I don't think we have many reasons to, you know, to listen to anyone else, um, is, is going to be one that, that uh, turns away uh, in some important ways from the world um, over the next few years. I don't mean to say that's, you know, means that China is going to be closed off. Uh, and, and certainly C has, you know, some nods in his uh, his uh, work report to uh, wanting to increase international cooperation and exchange, for example. But uh, fundamentally, this vision is of a China that's turning away uh, from much of the rest of the world. And, you know, just empirically, um, through uh, a lot of China's foreign policy actions, you can see the kind of seeds being sown uh, of a more antagonistic uh, belligerent uh, approach uh, to uh, many, if not most countries. Um, and, you know, just as a final response to what you said, uh, you know, I think you're absolutely right that the United States was for a long time almost alone in thinking about China through kind of political military uh, as well as economic terms. Uh, but that has really changed. Uh, again, I think primarily just the last five, seven years. Um, I think that shift has been uh, dramatic in the case of the UK. Um, but as far as I can tell, it's been uh, even more dramatic uh, in the case of Germany. Um, and, you know, I was so struck, and I mean, this isn't a statement by a policymaker, so one has to keep that in mind, but I was so struck the head of uh, the BND uh, had a quote about three weeks ago to the effect of Russia is the storm, but China is climate change um, in terms of, of uh, thinking about Germany's security. And I mean, that is just a really chilling uh, uh, statement to me. Um, uh, and but I think you know I, I can only assume is illustrative of at least some you know degree of uh, of elite thinking uh, uh, in Europe about where China is headed and where uh, where the sort of focus of uh, relations should be.